Hey, bro. All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Ryan Garcia just dropped a bombshell in a recent talk with Andrew Tate on X. His comments left the entire boxing world concerned about his mental health yet again. After his recent Twitter post that was sketchy to say the least, mentioning that his throat had been slit, Ryan just came forward with an incident when he was sexually abused as a child. Given his upcoming bout with Devin, people are raising their concerns about his performance, especially now that it's clear that his mind isn't at the best place. A couple of days back, the video on his ex account got posted claiming that Ryan was killed. We got him, guys. Garcia, rest in peace. Dog, we slit his throat and no one will find him. Following this pattern of disturbing posts, his most recent claim on X is that he was sexually abused by a family member when he was two years old. Furthermore, he claimed to have solid evidence confirming this fact. A few hours following this incident, he came forward with another post, claiming his phone had been hacked, but the fact remains that the abuse claim was real. Can't get access to my Instagram. Uh, my cards are locked. And I'm just being real. You know, I'm being real taken this left the everyone in awe and concern for the 25-year-old boxer with a promising future. The post quoted, I was sexually abused when I was two years old, how would you act? On X, following a confirmation pointing out that it was indeed a family member who was involved in this heinous act. By a family member, how would you feel? How would you act? Followed Garcia. But it doesn't stop there, he continued claiming, I was sexually abused when I was two years old and I have proof. I've seen the worst shit of my life, I'm tired of being quiet. He further stated, I will die for the innocent souls that have been kidnapped. If you're not on my side, you're on the devil's side. But that's not it. He further escalates things by claiming he has witnessed child trafficking. The Post claimed, What would you do if they held you down and made you watch? Yes, I'm losing control. The shit I've seen hurts me because of the children. Human trafficking is the biggest trade in the world. And I'm suffering for them, and I'm the crazy one. Nobody is doing anything. They held me down and made me watch. They really begged me to join in and I said, F you. And I'm not lying. They're hurting the children. And they all stand back telling me to shut up. I don't care anymore. I will die for the kidnapped innocent souls. If you're not on my side, you're on the devil's side. He further reached out to Andrew Tate on X claiming, They tied me up in a forest and made me watch little boys being sexually abused. But here is where it gets interesting. Ryan claims the Bohemian Grove is associated with these trafficking, and he makes allegations linking Bill Haney to the enigmatic Bohemian Grove. Yes, you heard that correctly. The very same Bohemian Grove steeped in mystery and speculation for over a century. Bro, they fucking took me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied... I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I fucking will show you every fucking... Garcia's claims have not just raised eyebrows, They've upended the status quo. With a conviction that demands attention, Garcia has laid bare what he perceives as the clandestine connections between Haney and the secretive retreat. But before we plunge into the depths of conspiracy, let's pause for a moment. While Garcia's claims have undoubtedly set tongues wagging, they remain just that. Claims. Unsubstantiated, unverified, and hanging precariously in the realm of speculation. Nevertheless, Let's not dismiss Garcia's assertions outright. In the world of boxing, truth often proves stranger than fiction. And if history has taught us anything, it's that where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Now let's take a closer look at Bohemian Grove itself. Nestled amidst California's majestic redwoods, this clandestine men's retreat has long been a magnet for intrigue and whispered secrets. From tales of clandestine rituals to rumors of clandestine power plays, Bohemian Grove has captured the imaginations of many. And Garcia's claims? Well, they've only served to stoke the fires of speculation. His assertion that Bohemian Grove serves as a breeding ground for unspeakable acts, including satanic rituals and human trafficking, has sent shockwaves through the boxing world and beyond. But let's not forget the man at the center of this storm, Bill Haney. Despite the deafening silence emanating from his camp, questions linger. What ties, if any, does Haney have to Bohemian Grove? And more importantly, what does this mean for the future of the sport? As Garcia prepares to step into the ring against Devin Haney, the stakes have never been higher. 
But make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is more than just a fight. It's a battle for truth, for justice, and for the very soul of boxing itself. Now let's broaden our perspective and explore the wider implications of Garcia's allegations. In a sport where perception is paramount, the fallout from these claims could be catastrophic. From shattered reputations to lost endorsements, the repercussions may reverberate for years to come. But amidst the chaos and uncertainty, one thing remains abundantly clear. Ryan Garcia is not backing down. With a courage and conviction that border on the heroic, he has thrown down the gauntlet and dared to shine a light into the darkest corners of the boxing world. And while the road ahead may be fraught with peril and uncertainty, one thing is certain. Garcia's voice will not be silenced. Whether you believe his claims or not, one fact remains undeniable. He has ignited a firestorm of controversy that shows no signs of abating. Yet let's not lose sight of the bigger picture. As the boxing world grapples with the fallout from Garcia's allegations, it's imperative that we don't lose sight of our principles. This isn't just about one man or one fight. It's about holding those in power accountable and demanding transparency in an industry shrouded in secrecy. Now what does this mean for Bill Haney if these allegations are true? That's the million-dollar question lingering in the minds of boxing enthusiasts and skeptics alike. If Garcia's claims were to be substantiated, the ramifications for Haney could be nothing short of seismic. In the court of public opinion, such damning allegations could tarnish his reputation irreparably, casting a long shadow over his career and personal life. The fallout from being associated with Bohemian Grove, a place synonymous with secrecy and speculation, could extend far beyond the confines of the boxing ring. Endorsements may dry up, sponsors may distance themselves, and opportunities may evaporate in the harsh glare of scrutiny. But it's not just Haney's professional standing that's at stake. His personal integrity and moral character would also come under intense scrutiny. To be linked, even tangentially, to allegations of heinous acts and clandestine rituals would be a stain that's hard to wash away. For Haney, the silence surrounding Garcia's accusations could be equally damning. In the absence of a robust defense or a clear denunciation, the whispers of complicity may grow louder, fueling speculation and suspicion. In the midst of this maelstrom, Haney finds himself caught between a rock and a hard place. Silence may be interpreted as guilt, yet speaking out could invite further scrutiny and skepticism. It's a precarious tightrope to walk, and one misstep could have far-reaching consequences. And what about the wider implications for the sport of boxing? If Garcia's allegations were to be validated, it could signal a seismic shift in the way the sport is perceived. No longer a realm of physical prowess and athletic skill, boxing could find itself embroiled in a web of intrigue and scandal, tarnishing its reputation for years to come. But amidst the uncertainty and speculation, one thing remains clear. The need for transparency and accountability has never been greater. Whether or not Garcia's claims hold water, they have shown a spotlight on the darker corners of the boxing world, forcing us to confront uncomfortable truths and challenging us to demand better from those in power. As the saga unfolds, one thing is certain. The eyes of the world are firmly fixed on the outcome. Will Garcia's allegations be validated? Or will they be consigned to the annals of conspiracy theory? Only time will tell. In the meantime, the boxing world braces itself for what promises to be a showdown of epic proportions. With tensions running high and the stakes higher than ever, the clash between Garcia and Haney takes on a significance far beyond the confines of the ring. But regardless of the outcome, one thing remains abundantly clear. The reverberations of Garcia's allegations will be felt for years to come. Whether they mark the beginning of a new era of transparency and accountability or the unraveling of the sport's credibility, only time will tell. Some fans on social media platforms like Twitter and Reddit are speculating that this is nothing but an attempt from Ryan Garcia to duck his upcoming fight with Devin Haney. These shots at Bill Haney just might be a tactic to get out of the fight with an indirect approach. On Twitter, one user posted, Ryan Garcia's sudden accusations against Bill Haney and Bohemian Grove seem too convenient. Is he trying to distract us from the fact that he's not ready to face Devin Haney in the ring? Another user chimed in with, I smell a rat! Ryan Garcia's timing with these allegations against Bill Haney is suspect. 
Is he trying to create drama to avoid facing Devin Haney? Seems like a classic case of ducking to me. Bro. All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Over on Reddit's R Boxing Forum, a user shared their thoughts, writing, I've been following boxing for years, and this whole Ryan Garcia saga smells fishy to me. Accusing Bill Haney of ties to Bohemian Grove? Come on, it's too convenient. I think he's trying to weasel his way out of the fight with Devin Haney. These sentiments reflect a growing skepticism among boxing enthusiasts, who view Garcia's allegations with a healthy dose of suspicion. With so much at stake, including pride, prestige, and the potential for lucrative paydays, it's no wonder that fans are scrutinizing every twist and turn of this unfolding drama. But amidst the speculation and skepticism, one thing remains certain. The truth will eventually come to light. Whether Garcia's allegations are grounded in fact or fiction, only time will tell. In the meantime, the boxing world watches and waits, eager to see how this high-stakes showdown will play out. But on the other hand, if these claims are true, this is a really bad time for Ryan to go into the ring with Devin. Given their fight is scheduled for April 20th, which is barely a month from now, things aren't looking too good for Ryan. With the specter of controversy looming over Garcia's head, his focus should rightfully be on preparing for the upcoming bout. Yet the cloud of uncertainty surrounding his allegations against Bill Haney threatens to derail his training and mental focus in the crucial weeks leading up to the fight. In the high-stakes world of professional boxing, distractions can be the difference between victory and defeat. With the clock ticking down to fight night, Garcia can ill afford to be bogged down by the weight of controversy and speculation. The timing of Garcia's bombshell allegations couldn't be worse, casting a shadow of doubt over his readiness to step into the ring with Devin Haney. As the days tick by, the pressure mounts, and the stakes grow ever higher. For Garcia, the road ahead is fraught with peril and uncertainty. Will he be able to put aside the distractions and focus on the task at hand? Or will the weight of controversy prove too much to bear? As April 20th draws near, all eyes will be on Garcia as he prepares to face off against Haney in what promises to be a battle for the ages. But with the specter of controversy hanging over him, the odds may be stacked against him like never before. In the coming weeks, Garcia will need to dig deep, summoning every ounce of focus and determination to block out the noise and concentrate on the task at hand. For in the unforgiving arena of professional boxing, there's no room for distractions or half-hearted efforts. But the question remains, why come out now with such insane claims? These aren't your typical allegations. They cut to the core of some of society's deepest fears and anxieties. The notion of satanic rituals, human trafficking, and other heinous acts occurring within the confines of Bohemian Grove strikes at the very heart of our collective sense of safety and security. And then there's the timing of these events, right on the heels of his sketchy Twitter post claiming he had been killed and his phone being allegedly hacked, it's all too much of a coincidence to be happening linearly. It's as if the plot thickens with each passing day, leaving us to wonder what's really going on behind the scenes. For Garcia, the timing of his bombshell allegations raises more questions than answers. Why choose this moment to shine a light on the darkness lurking within Bohemian Grove? And why now, with his own personal and professional life seemingly in disarray? The conspiracy theorists among us might speculate that there's more to this story than meets the eye. Could Garcia be the victim of a sinister plot to silence him and discredit his allegations? Or is there something more nefarious at play, hidden beneath the surface of the seemingly mundane? Whatever the truth may be, one thing is clear. The coming weeks and months promise to be a roller coaster ride of intrigue, suspense, and speculation. As the pieces of the puzzle begin to fall into place, the world watches with bated breath, eager to uncover the truth behind the headlines. But amidst the chaos and confusion, one thing remains certain. The fight for justice is far from over. Whether Garcia's allegations are vindicated or debunked, the quest for truth and transparency will continue unabated. I personally wanted just to send out a video to the people that love me and my fans, um, family that's concerned that I'm okay. I'm not dead. I believe in Jesus. All those are lies. And, you know, I've jail they're blocking my cards i can't access my money nobody
he's hitting me back. I don't know what's going on, but um, just know I'm Big fighters such as KSI have come forward with their concerns about Garcia, adding a layer of complexity to the unfolding drama. While some are considering this to be a case of drug abuse, others, including KSI, are expressing genuine worry about Garcia's mental well-being. KSI, whose real name is Olajid Olayinka Williams Olatunji, has publicly voiced his apprehensions regarding Ryan Garcia's recent behavior. The social media star and occasional boxer has called for Garcia to be removed from his upcoming match against Devin Haney, citing what KSI describes as a mental breakdown. Garcia, a former interim WBC lightweight champion, has been making headlines for his erratic conduct, prompting worries from fellow fighters, fans, and those close to him. Cancel the Ryan Garcia fight and actually get him some help, KSI urged on social media. It's sad watching him have a mental breakdown publicly like this. KSI's plea is rooted in a genuine concern for Garcia's well-being, emphasizing the importance of prioritizing mental health in the face of public struggles. The call for Garcia to step away from the upcoming match echoes the broader recognition within the combat sports community about the significance of addressing mental health issues among athletes. Despite these concerns, it appears unlikely that the fight between Garcia and Haney will be canceled or postponed. Garcia, however, seems to be making an effort to shift his focus back to his boxing career. In a public announcement, he pledged to limit his public discourse to discussions related to the sport. I, Ryan Garcia, will not be speaking or tweeting or writing anything other than my fight boxing and sports, Garcia declared on social media. All topics of discussion will be discussed after my fight. Five weeks of focus. You have my word, I'm locked in. I'll see you on 4, 20. In a subsequent post, Garcia reinforced his commitment to boxing-related matters, opening the floor for a Q&A session specifically related to the sport. As I've stated, I will only be talking about boxing. Let's see who's really listening. Ask me any boxing question on the plane back to go train with Derek in Dallas. So why not do a Q&A of boxing and sports? Garcia's behavior marked by cryptic posts and unsettling statements has not gone unnoticed within the combat sports community. His downward spiral seemingly began with a perplexing post referencing death and Satan, followed by a video attempting to clarify his remarks but providing little insight. In a peculiar exchange with controversial figure Andrew Tate, Garcia claimed to have been restrained in the woods and forced to witness illicit acts perpetrated on children. Subsequently, Garcia inundated his social media accounts with posts on topics ranging from aliens to Bohemian Grove and peace in the Middle East. UFC bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley has also weighed in on Garcia's behavior, attributing it to a substance abuse issue and remarking, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Following this accusation, Garcia came forward with his own statement, denying all claims of him have a drug problem. Garcia's situation underscores the complexities of mental health and substance abuse within the realm of professional sports. The concern expressed by figures like KSI and Sean O'Malley reflects a broader recognition of the importance of addressing mental health issues among athletes. As we draw the curtains on this gripping saga, one thing remains abundantly clear. The world of boxing is a complex tapestry woven from the threads of controversy, intrigue, and human drama. From the explosive allegations surrounding Bohemian Grove to the concerns raised about Ryan Garcia's mental health, this journey has taken us on a roller coaster ride of emotion and uncertainty. But amidst the chaos and confusion, one truth shines through the resilience of the human spirit. In the face of adversity, athletes like Garcia continue to inspire us with their unwavering determination and unyielding resolve. Their stories remind us that even in our darkest moments, there is always hope. I don't do cocaine. I would do I would do a live drug test. What do you do? I would do a what live do you do? drug test. What I, do you do? I drink and I smoke weed, and so has the majority of this room. So has the majority of this room. What, 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 what kind of example are you for the younger generation? As we reflect on the events that have unfolded, let us not forget the lessons learned along the way. Let us remember the importance of compassion, empathy, and understanding in a world fraught with division and discord. And let us reaffirm our commitment to supporting those who may be struggling both inside and outside the ring. Until next time, peace out.